I'm Maggie Kay, and I am in Dunedin, uh, which they like to call the Edinburgh of the South, which, never been to Edinburgh or Scotland in general, I wouldn't know. Um, so I, I'm not going to verify that at all. But apparently it's because of the Scottish heritage here. And for me, when I arrive to a new place, I always like to learn a bit more about the people and the surroundings, the history of what makes this place this place. Why is it special? Um, so to do that, I am heading first thing to the Settlers Museum. There were tons of interactive elements, which I personally love. Like I mentioned in my video about Tapapa, I love when I come across museums like this. The museum is set up chronologically, so you get to see the development of the city over the ages. And it goes right down into Dunedin's pets. So needless to say, it is a pretty thorough museum. So I'm at the railway station now, as you can see, the railway station. And it's right beside the museum. So if you're gonna go to one, you might as well check out the other. The cool thing is the railway station is a historical building in itself. And it's actually beautiful stained glass windows. And upstairs is actually two galleries, or museum things. Uh, there's an art gallery, which I couldn't take any photos of, meh, but it was really nice, a lot of local artists, as well as the New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame. And seriously, they have everything, everything in here um, that you can even think of. All sports, all through everything. I was actually really impressed of the amount of stuff they managed to fit in this tiny, tiny little space. I also went on the Spates Brewery Tour. Spates started in 1876, and the thing that made this brewery tour a bit different than other ones that I've been on is the amount of history they go through. They had a overview of the history of beer itself, and then went into detail about the history of Spates and you got to tour through the old part of the brewery, which is no longer used, and then see well, the new and improved and active side of the brewery as well. And like any good brewery tour, you always end with some beer samples. So I made it to the top of Baldwin Street, well, almost the top of Baldwin Street, and it is apparently the steepest street in the world, which I believe, now that I've actually like climbed up like 90% of it, I think, <laughs> and honestly I can't be bothered, whoever decided that, oh, this is, this is a good straight up, um, I question your logic. Why would you do this? Why? Take a look. It's really actually a good view from up here. You take a look. Yeah, I can't be bothered going the rest of the way. It was it was a long walk to get out here in the first place. And if you're wondering. I did take the stairs. The sidewalk is actually stairs because it's that steep that stairs are actually practical. What? And the thing is, I'm actually not looking forward to going down the <laughs> This is the problem. Once you go up, you have to go down. But like I said, there are stairs. The stairs make it a lot easier. 
Uh, and at least, at least going down isn't quite as difficult as going up. I seriously was gonna call it quits halfway through, but no, I pushed through. I made it to the top. <sighs> so, not far from Baldwin Street um, is the Botanic Gardens. It's like, you'll have to go past the Botanic Gardens from the city center to get out to Baldwin Street. So I figured, since I'm out this way, I would stop and go for a little walk through the Botanic Gardens. But the thing is, it's actually winter right now, so I don't know how spectacular if the gardens are gonna be. Um, but I guess we can we can check it out and see what see what happens. Yeah, so I think the Botanic Garden would definitely be a lot more spectacular um, in any season but winter. Come back in summer, maybe. <laughs> so one of the other things to do in Dunedin is to see Cadbury World. Um, you can actually tour the factory, which is what I did, though I couldn't take any photos or video inside. The thing is, when I was booking this tour, the lady that works at the hostel that was booking it for me said that they're going to stop the tour soon through the actual factory. Um, I don't know if that's like just a local rumor mill going on, but you may or may not be able to tour the factory. I did, and I thought it was really interesting to see what a large-scale chocolate factory production kind of looks like. Um, and I got a hot chocolate on my way out because it's later in the day. I could only get a takeaway, which is cool. It's a, um, old gold peppermint, so like a dark chocolate peppermint hot chocolate. Um, delicious. And I also happen to have gotten, um, probably enough chocolate to last me the rest of my time in New Zealand. So that's it for me in Dunedin. I'm heading out tomorrow morning. And yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more travel adventures. Hey, I'm Maggie Kay and I'm about to head to New Zealand's South Island and it also happens to be July, meaning the middle of winter. So I need my backpack to be filled with more